just want to talk for a minute today about 90s comics. Uh, it's come to my attention. It was something I wasn't aware of. Um, I grew up on 90s comics. Like, I discovered comics probably in 1994-ish. And that's the era that made me fall in love with comics. Now, I'm seeing online that 90s comic books sucked. Um, no. <laughs> no, they didn't. Uh, I, I guess the biggest complaint is that the writing wasn't as good. Like, the imagery was really good, but it kind of, the, the writing took a backseat to these amazing images, this amazing artistry. Um, yeah, I just don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. I just, I'm tired. My buddy says that people just like to shit on everyone else, right? And that, that may be true because it, it just seems like people shit on stuff just to shit on it. Like, well, whatever you love sucks. <laughs> like, um, anyway, the 90s comics did not suck. Um, in any way, and, and I've written down some stuff here that I'm going to talk about just to remind people that there was some great, great stuff in comic books in the 90s. Um, I first picked up a comic book. It was Wolverine number 95. Uh, I made a whole video about this a couple weeks ago about how I'm falling in love with comics again now and um, kind of my whole backstory of how I came to love comics in the first place. Um, Wolverine number 95 was my first comic ever. And, yeah, it was like 94, 95 came out. And I fell in love with comics. I fell in love with comics. And every comic I bought probably over the next six months was one that was um, written in the 90s. Uh, I think people forget some of the stuff that happened in the 90s, so I'm going to remind people a little bit. Uh, the Age of Apocalypse happened in the 90s, and I thought that was an amazing storyline. It was, um, geez, I don't know how many books, but they, they turned it into three graphic novels, like this thick. So, it's a lot of literature. Uh, Age of Apocalypse was awesome. It was an awesome storyline. Um, ooh, another one I'm rereading right now. The X-Men Days of Future Past. Another awesome storyline that they actually... Uh, put on the TV show as well, the cartoon. Um, let's see, they did a Weapon X comic in 1993. Uh, so, like, 100, 120 issues of Wolverine were done in the 90s. And Wolverine's my favorite character of all time, so um, maybe, maybe I'm biased. <clears throat> um, Spawn started in the 90s. I think 1992 was the first issue of Spawn. <clears throat> Another one of my all-time favorite characters. Uh, let's see. What's some cool stuff that happened in the 90s? Uh, they did a whole <clears throat> series of DC versus Marvel, which would make a badass movie, if you ask me. Um, <clears throat> DC versus Marvel was done in 1996, and they actually had like all of our favorite characters actually facing off. And it was basically for the right to exist, right? Who was gonna, who was better, DC or Marvel, it, it, in the overall? If you pick character against character, and they had like Thor versus Captain Marvel, Storm versus Wonder Woman, uh, Superman versus the Hulk, Wolverine versus Lobo, Spider-Man versus Superboy, Batman versus Captain America, um, Silver Surfer and Green, uh, the Flash, or uh, I'm sorry, Silver Surfer and Green Lantern, and Flash and Quicksilver, like, they pit them against each other. And this was, I can't remember how many series they did, but they had fans actually vote to who would win. So basically, whoever had the most fanfare would win the battle. And, it, you know, that that's how they determined who would win each battle. So, awesome storyline, dude. <clears throat> in a dream that, you know, people always wanted to see in comic books, DC versus Marvel. They actually got... You know, the, the writers over at DC and the writers at Marvel to actually come together and make this series happen. So, um, Preacher is a comic that was uh, prevalent throughout the 90s, which was an awesome comic book. Um, the Uncanny X-Men had a ton of issues in the 90s, which I, I love the Uncanny X-Men. I love regular X-Men. Um, Sin City comic was in the 90s. Like, 
<laughs> Come on, man. Frank Miller killing it in the 90s, dude. Um, let's see. Punisher War Journal was in the 90s. Um, I think I mentioned Weapon X. In 1993, they did a Weapon X, like a, like a backstory of Wolverine series. Um, so that was awesome. I mean, like, there was just so much cool shit that happened in the 90s. And yes, the artwork was superb. But I think the stories that backed it up were great, too. Maybe not all the time, you know, but that could be said about anything. That could be said now. That could be said about movies. It's like sometimes the story sucks, but the imagery is great. Um, but in general, the 90s made me fall in love with comic books. And I would never, like... I don't know. It's hard for me to believe that people actually go back, read 90s comic books, if you read any of these things that I'm talking about, and said, like, oh, 90s comics sucked. The storyline sucked. That's ridiculous. I love 90s comics. Um, <laughs> if it wasn't for 90s comics, I wouldn't care about comics. If it, Listen, also, in the 90s, comic book sales were an all-time high. They They were never higher before, and they haven't been higher since, like actual comic books in the store sales, um, physical comic books, like now you can just go read them online, it's free, but in the 90s there was a huge boom of people buying comic books, going to comic book stores, people opening comic book stores, um, fanfare and all kinds of like action figures and, you know, all this stuff related to comic books, and it was like an explosion in the 90s. So maybe that's what people are saying, like it was a little oversaturated or something, and so people were just putting out stuff. I don't know. But in my opinion, the 90s was great for comic books. The 90s was awesome for comic books. A lot of the storylines that we see in the superhero movies now are ones that were written in the 90s, and I don't think you should discount that at all. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Did, did you enjoy 90s comics? Were you born after the 90s? but went back and read the 90s comics and you liked them? Or do you think they suck? Do you think they suck? Like, I, I don't know if this is just a new age thing, if it's like a millennial thing, where you're like, oh, I, I wasn't around then, so I don't give a shit about that. Or is it older people who read comics in the 70s and 80s and thought that the 90s were kind of a, a, a dull period? But I don't know. You tell me, tell me what you think. Do you like 90s comic books? Did you like the storylines? Did you like the art? Um, oh, oh, you know what else happened in the 90s? Um, the death of Superman happened in the 90s. And check out this little piece of alliteration. Bane broke Batman's back. Or <laughs> Batman's back was broken by Bane. Um, that was like a huge deal. And it actually came true in The Dark Knight Rises. So, tell me that the 90s weren't awesome and influential. Anyway, let's talk about it. Alright, if, like, uh, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to the channel for more. And um, I will be making more, more, more videos about comic books, about comic book movies, and all other types of movies, TV series, and just random pop culture shit that I want to talk about. So, if you're interested in that kind of thing, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.